And I think what has been also disturbing, and this I've been mentioning this uh, more recently, and I think this might offend some people to hear, but I want to be frank, and I, I mean it in the, in the spirit of being constructive and stimulating discussion, is that some of our key representatives of uh, the Ukrainian intel cultural intelligentsia and religious leaders, um, instead of staying, uh, staying above the fray and exuding their wisdom as moral authorities, they've been brought in, like in old Soviet times in the last few weeks, to all, you know, back the president and to present, uh, to repeat his mantra that without me, Ukraine will collapse, Ukraine will not exist. Now, you know, what about tomorrow? What if Zelensky wins? Who's he going to talk to? If you demonize the guy and he wins an overwhelming majority, what, what signal is that sending? How do you build unity and how do we move forward? And for example, the religious leaders, whether the uh, heads of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, the Greek Catholic Church, but even the evangelicals with whom Poroshenko has been working very hard in the last two or three weeks to get votes, all of them are saying that basically the key issue is either you love Ukraine or you don't love Ukraine. That, that is what the vote is about. But from religious leaders, Christians, I would expect them to mention the Ten Commandments, thou shall not steal, mention something about corruption. You know, patriotism is fine, but is that your job in a society where, uh, where the church and state are, are uh, theoretically separate? So there are a lot of questions here. And the bottom line, I'm sorry to go on and, and, and make this into a monologue, but I think the bottom line is that there's much more to this election than meets the eye. It's not just Poroshenko Zelensky. It's not just what we know and what we don't know. I would venture to say that we're at another defining moment in our history where we are, in a sense, it's a test about our political maturity as a, as a people, the quality of our democracy, and most importantly, the quality of our values. Mm -hmm.